The early epochs of the universe remain enveloped in enigma. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has achieved a groundbreaking observation in the depths of space. This advanced infrared observatory has provided astronomers with their first in-depth view of supernovae from a time when the universe was merely a fraction of its current age. Within a tiny region of the sky, roughly equivalent in size to a rice grain held at arm's length, Webb has identified at least 80 supernovae. This discovery has amplified the number of known supernovae from the early universe by a factor of 10. Among these newly uncovered supernovae are some of the most distant ever observed, offering crucial insights into the rate at which the universe is expanding. To uncover supernovae, the research team analyzed a series of images captured over intervals of up to a year, looking for sources that either emerged or disappeared. These celestial objects, which vary in brightness over time, are referred to as transients, with supernovae being a particular type of transient. The team dedicated over 100 hours of Webb's observing time to each image, and their findings have unveiled a new perspective on the early universe. The High Redshift Transient Universe represents a concealed chapter in the cosmic narrative. This epoch, during which the universe was less than 2.2 billion years old, harbors crucial insights into the nascent stages of galaxy formation, the evolution of cosmic structures, and the enigmatic nature of dark energy. To unveil these cosmic secrets, astronomers concentrate on transient phenomena like supernovae, which are dramatic and short-lived events offering significant insights into the early universe. Studying these explosive occurrences is crucial for three main reasons. Firstly, supernovae mark the spectacular final stages of massive stars. Observing these events provides valuable information about how stars were born, lived, and ended their lives in the early universe, thereby enhancing our understanding of stellar life cycles. Secondly, type IA supernovae, a particular category of supernova, occur in binary star systems when a white dwarf accumulates material from a companion star until it reaches a critical mass. This accumulation leads to a runaway nuclear reaction and the subsequent explosion of the white dwarf. Type IA supernovae are notable for their consistent brightness, making them reliable standard candles for measuring cosmic distances. By assessing their brightness, astronomers can gauge vast distances across the universe, akin to using a known size light bulb to estimate the distance to a faraway streetlight. This measurement is essential for tracking the universe's expansion over time and gaining insights into dark energy, the enigmatic force responsible for this expansion. Thirdly, supernovae play a pivotal role in enriching the universe with crucial elements. The explosion of a supernova disperses elements such as carbon and iron into space, which are fundamental building blocks for planets and life. Without these explosive events, the universe would lack the necessary components to form planets or support life as we understand it. Exploring these distant cosmic events presents several significant challenges. Firstly, objects at high redshifts are incredibly far away and faint. As their light traverses the expanding universe, it becomes stretched and dimmed, making them much more difficult to observe clearly. Secondly, fleeting phenomena like supernovae require precise timing and repeated observations to capture them at the right moment, which can be quite challenging. Thirdly, high redshift surveys, which search for these remote events, often cover only small portions of the sky, this limited coverage makes it even harder to detect these rare occurrences because the search is restricted to a tiny fraction of the universe at any one time. Lastly, earlier telescopes lacked the sensitivity and resolution necessary to view such distant, dim objects. They were unable to collect enough light 
or produce sufficiently sharp images to study these faraway phenomena effectively. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized this field. It is equipped with advanced instruments capable of observing in the near and mid-infrared spectrum, which is crucial because the light from these distant events shifts into the infrared as it travels through the expanding universe. By detecting this faint infrared light, Webb can identify supernovae and other transient phenomena that are too dim for other telescopes to see. Additionally, Webb's exceptional spatial resolution allows it to capture highly detailed images. This means astronomers can observe not only the supernovae themselves, but also the galaxies they inhabit and their surrounding environments. These detailed observations can provide valuable insights into the conditions under which these supernovae explode. Finally, Webb's wide field of view and advanced survey capabilities enhance the chances of discovering these rare and fleeting events by allowing it to cover larger areas of the sky simultaneously. This is similar to using a larger net in fishing, expanding the likelihood of a successful catch. To make these groundbreaking discoveries, the team examined images from the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JD's program. Before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, only a handful of supernovae had been observed at redshifts above two, a point in cosmic history when the universe was approximately 3.3 billion years old, or about 25% of its current age. The redshift, denoted as Z, measures how much the wavelength of light from distant objects has been stretched due to the expansion of the universe. A redshift of Z, zero represents the present day, and higher redshifts correspond to looking further back in time. Through the JDS program, the team discovered numerous supernovae that erupted even earlier, when the universe was less than 2 billion years old. Previously, Observations using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope provided views of supernovae from the universe's young adult stage. Now, with the JDS program, scientists are exploring supernovae from the teen, or preteen years of the universe, with plans to eventually look even further back to the toddler, or infant, phases. The researchers also confirmed the farthest supernova ever spectroscopically identified with a redshift of 3.6. This indicates that the star exploded when the universe was only 1.8 billion years old. This supernova was a core collapse event, resulting from the explosion of a massive star. Astrophysicists are particularly interested in type IA supernovae, exploding stars with such consistent brightness that they serve as reliable standard candles for measuring vast cosmic distances and calculating the rate of the universe's expansion. Recently, scientists identified a type IA supernova with a redshift of 2.9. This means the light from this explosion began its journey to Earth 11.5 billion years ago, when the universe was only 2.3 billion years old. To provide context, the previous record for the farthest spectroscopically confirmed type IA supernova was at a redshift of 1.95, corresponding to a time when the universe was 3.4 billion years old. Understanding these distant supernovae is crucial for several reasons. Scientists aim to analyze these ancient supernovae to confirm that their intrinsic brightness remains consistent regardless of their distance. This consistency is essential because if their brightness were to vary with redshift, it would undermine their reliability as markers for measuring the universe's expansion rate. Researchers have scrutinized a newly discovered supernova with a redshift of 2.9 to check whether its intrinsic brightness deviates from expectations. Although this is the first object of its kind to be studied in this way, Initial results indicate no evidence that the brightness of type Ea supernovae changes with redshift. This supports current theories regarding the universe's expansion rate and its ultimate fate. This study has ushered in a new era of exploration into the transient universe. 
the early universe was vastly different from today's cosmos, characterized by extreme environments and conditions. Scientists anticipate discovering ancient supernovae from this epoch, originating from stars with far fewer heavy chemical elements compared to those like our Sun. By comparing these ancient supernovae with those from our local universe, astrophysicists hope to gain a more profound understanding of star formation and the processes driving supernova explosions during these early times. The sensitivity of the James Webb Space Telescope has proven remarkable, revealing supernova and other transients almost everywhere it observes. For instance, it discovered 80 supernovae within a tiny patch of sky, about the width of a rice grain held at arm's length. The ongoing observations and discoveries from Webb are expected to offer new insights and potentially reshape our understanding of astronomy, enriching our comprehension of the universe and its history.